Hi, my name is Ian, and I'm going to show you how to install and configure dBeaver on Mac OS for use in uh, our class CIS 117. You'll notice that I've already logged into AWS here because uh, we're going to need this endpoint value a little later when we're working on connecting to the database. Um, but first, I'm going to take you to the dBeaver website. That's dbeaver.jkiss.org. So this will load. We want to go to download over here, which will also load. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on Mac OS 64-bit. Uh, I'm uh, running this on a MacBook Air from 2012. Um, so I need the 60-bit, the 64-bit version. Um, and just for reference, this is running um, OS 10.10.5. Uh, so it's the latest, uh, latest update. So that just finished uh, downloading. I'm going to close the dBeaver tab there in Safari. Go to Downloads and click on the zip file that uh, that was there. So we'll notice that dBeaver is just extracts to a folder, um, and I can drag that to applications because I like to keep things neat and tidy. Um, close that window. Then we're going to go to applications, open up dBeaver. Um, dBeaver is an internet download, an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yeah, pretty sure. So we'll click open uh, and we get this lovely splash screen. Uh, kind of looks like it's from the cover of a, an O'Reilly book um, there. Very nice. Um, Oh, what is this doing here? So we're going to pretend. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that connection because, uh, yeah, there we go. So you would be presented with this. It's just a blank screen. Um, so we're going to go File, New, Connection, and click Next. And you're going to get a list of all of these th different things. We want MS SQL Server, which is right here. It's a folder. You're going to have to expand it. Click on Microsoft Driver and click Next. Uh, so now here is where we need uh, this address from over here. We want to click it, make sure the whole thing is highlighted, and copy that. Go over to Host. In this window, it's going to say Localhost because it wants you to host it locally, but we're not. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in uh, what I just copied off of AWS there. Username is my username. That will vary for you. Um, uh, this is uh, my password, uh, which I won't tell you because that would defeat the purpose of everything. Um, now, uh, the port is set to the default of 1433, uh, which we can confirm over here. If you change that, then you're going to uh, have to change it back over here, too. So click Next. Uh, we don't need any of this. Click Next. Uh, you can change the connection name if you want. I'm just going to leave it as the default here. Click Finish. So now you'll notice that we have this lovely thing over here. What we want to do is make sure we connect. And we'll go through this. It connects. And as soon as you see that green checkbox right there that I'm pointing to, you'll know that you're connected. Um, I already ran the Connect script on on my database, so it's already set up all the tables and stuff, but you'll notice that everything's all there. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to ask me on the forums. But I uh, hope this made sense and hope you enjoy. Thanks.